Hey, welcome back. It's 529 on this Monday morning. Pay for the lunch or lose your kids. That's what officials are wow. saying in Pennsylvania this morning. Ooh. They're facing nearly $20,000 in overdue school lunches, and they're saying, all right, it's time to pay up, or we're going to send Uncle Louie with a crowbar to your house for your wow. toddler. They're not exactly <laughs> saying that. Uh, we do have several thousand dollars worth of overdue lunches here in Sacramento, so it's not unique. Wow. No, a lot of... School districts all over the country are going through things like this. Let me tell you what people are going to say on Facebook. Terry says, since the program for free and reduced lunches in schools is a federal program, parents with limited income have no excuse. Some people not having a lot of mercy on these parents. Ouch. Yeah. So go to abc10.com slash vote. We'd love to keep the conversation going. Uh, you know, you're behind on your lunch bill. You may lose your kids. So, hey, this is uh, Pennsylvania playing it tough. All right, let's get to all the local and national news in five minutes. We call it Daily Blend. Let's start it off quickly here with Brittany with traffic. All right, Morning. let's get this party started at 530. A look at Live Drive, 5 southbound just past Stockton. All lanes are open and traffic is moving. It's actually kind of picking up this morning. All right, at 530, let's save you some money. After all, it is Monday. Let's talk about gas prices. According to Gas Buddy, we're looking at 359, so we're down three cents compared to last week. Stockton, your average is 348, and Modesto, you're looking at 351, almost down four cents a gallon. Who are we kidding? That is still high, right? So make sure to go to our ABC 10 app to find a much better deal for you. As we take a look at your drive times, Tracy to Livermore, I did not forget about you. Our super commuters, uh, traffic is picking up. So 205 Mountain House Parkway back on to 580. Uh, we are looking at 51 minutes. You take the traditional route, it's going to cost you 10 minutes. So the streets are already heating up. Tracy to Livermore, Rob, Karl Mark, how hot's it going to get? I already know we're going to have bad hair later this week. I'm not happy. <laughs> so maybe you are one of the people that, uh, that have hair that's sensitive to the humidity because that's really one of the creepy things that's gonna let me let me let me rephrase that don't get offended Brittany that's one of the things that's gonna creep up on us in the middle of the week <laughs> there we go hopefully I'm not in trouble when I get back to my desk it's the humidity and the heat that's really gonna get everybody talking later on this week for us here in Northern California out here in the Gilmore backyard it's beautiful it's nice you have the mornings where we're in the 60s we're heading to the mid to upper 90s easily and I think some of us will challenge 100 degrees so humidity, what are you talking about, Rob? This is what I'm talking about. This is not comparable to the Midwest, the South, Texas, the East Coast, but for Northern California, compared to how the summer's gone in its entirety, this will be a change for us. You may notice the humidity. You may notice mugginess to the air, and maybe even your hair gets a little bit more curly with the humidity heading our way. So again, not comparable, but on a relative scale, this may matter in the coming days. Live out here in the Gilmore backyard where we still have several more hours where it's nice and comfortable, but later on today, the heat is on and it only gets hotter the rest of this week. Back to you. Okay, Rob, thank you. It is now 532. And right now, Sacramento deputies want to hear from you. If you were a guest at a Fair Oaks house party, it ended in a deadly shooting outside the party. Chancellor Fields Colbert, a Sierra College a football player, Sierra College posted this photo saying Colbert, did play for the Wolverine football team. Deputies found a man shot lying on Fair Oaks Boulevard early yesterday morning. We are waiting for the county coroner to confirm that the, this is the young victim of the shooting. Jennifer Rose was one of the people who gathered last night to honor Colbert during a vigil. She says she was at the party when the shooting happened. You know, it was supposed to be a college send-off party full of people from Rockland, you know, Sierra College, nice kids, you know, um, just like an Airbnb location type of thing. Deputies say somebody at the party saw what happened and you can help solve the case. If you know anything, please call the Sacramento Valley Crime Stoppers. The number is at the bottom of your screen. All right, in just a few hours, the man charged with the murder of Sacramento Police Officer Tara O'Sullivan will be in court. His name is Adele Ramos. He allegedly shot O'Sullivan as she was helping a woman on a domestic disturbance call. This was more than a month ago. O'Sullivan, who was 26, died at a hospital later that night. Ramos is expected to be in court this morning at 8. Carlos Herrera, can you tell us more about what may happen in court today? Yeah, we're expecting it to be yet another short, quick appearance here at the Raymond Court in downtown. And we're also expecting the Sacramento County District Attorney's Office to possibly file additional charges this morning. And maybe, maybe even hear about the possibility of Ramos facing the death penalty. That's uh, been really re uh, recent reports uh, about this. Now, it's been a month since Ramos appeared in court for the first time. You may remember him dressed in an orange jumpsuit. 
He's wearing a bandage on his forehead. That's from banging his head in his jail cell. The murder suspect showed no emotion as the judge read the four felony charges he's facing. County prosecutors charged him with murder, attempted murder, and two counts of using illegal weapons during the shooting. That's including an AR-15 style assault rifle. You might remember he was appointed a public defender and he did not enter a plea. A very important reminder for folks today is that this is his second court appearance. However, that doesn't mean we're near the end of this. This is just the beginning of what is expected to be a very lengthy process and investigation. Well, we'll send it back over to you. All right, so now let's get to some other stories that are making headlines for you right now in your Daily Blend. Whoever did this, they need to be caught. Family of a Long Beach teenager shot to death while driving in South Sacramento wants answers this morning. Sacramento County deputies are still trying to figure out who killed 18-year-old Timothy McGinnis Jr. on Thursday. He was in the area visiting his older sister. More time. That's what the Trump administration is giving taxpayer-funded family planning clinics this morning so they can follow a new rule to ban abortion referrals. The announcement one week ago to immediately stop the referrals caught clinics by surprise. They now have until mid-September to follow the new rule. Preparing for Mueller. Right now, Democrats and Republicans are getting ready to question special counsel Robert Mueller this week. It's been three months since his report on the Russia investigation. Democrats plan to talk about high crimes the president may be guilty of. Republicans say they're going to ask some tough questions. Okay. And that is your Daily Blend. If you got something you want to share with us when you see it online, just use the hashtag MorningBlend10. And to get more stories like these straight into your inbox, all you got to do is sign up for our Daily Blend newsletter. Just text the word email to 916-321-3310. Or you can even email us at abc10.com slash email. Go there and we'll get you hooked up.